Hello everyone and welcome back to Quicksafe TV. Your wait is finally over. No more waiting, no more requests. It's time for Skyrim. I have been... I'm not gonna say I was busy. I was partially busy for the university's sake, I mean, to study, to prepare for exams and everything. But the idea is that there were a couple of games I really wanted to try out and my friend borrowed uh, lend, lend me a copy of Kingdoms of Amalur, and I was really excited about it, I played it a little bit. And again, Jiggy Alliance, yeah, it finally came out, and I was playing it again, a lot, like, and now... And the whole this break thing that I took during the January, I, di I didn't do a lot of content, I didn't release any new content, and, you know, I feel overall a bit, you know, s um, how to put it... I feel obliged to bump out more Skyrim coverage. Okay, although I feel that this, uh, although I feel personally, from my personal point of view, I feel that the Skyrim coverage that's already out from my channel is, you know, adequate. That it has a lot of stuff. That it has a lot of stuff for a beginner player, for a uh, mediocre player, uh, me mediocre to advanced player. Some content as well, appropriate tutorials, wise, uh, some instructions, and some of the complex. Uh, more interesting dynamics I've been talking about are very interesting. I just feel that in order to feel complete in Skyrim coverage, I would like to pump out some more videos. And since you are very really anticipating for them, and I hear a lot, a lot, countless requests, almost on every video I pump out, which is not Skyrim related, I hear th things such as, Mike, wha when are you going to do a new Skyrim video? Mike, when are you going to do an additional Skyrim class video? And etc. So now it's time, and I'm going to start with, you know, quite simply, I will just start with how do you call it? A playthrough, a full playthrough of Skyrim. Now I have to say that I played for uh, roughly 200 hours of Skyrim. So it's 195, 190 something hours of Skyrim. And never once I have beat the game fully, right? That why do I do that? I do that on purpose to keep a mystery in the game. To keep it always interesting for me so I have always something to come back for. Now, just for you, I will beat it completely. The whole game. I will just I don't know how much uh, time it's going to take. I'm not going to I'm not going to dick around and waste time on things I would usually do in single player. I'm just going to go straight into the game through the content and everything and just, you know, with the commentary which is going to play it through. I might add the web camera thing, but right now it's not set up, so not right now. It will have to wait. Now I have my delicious coffee here, so I hope you don't mind me <laughs> doing sounds like this. <laughs> hope you enjoy it and yeah. That's the part number one of The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim full playthrough from Quicksafe TV, from me basically. <laughs> also, just recently Bethesda Entertainment, uh, Bethesda, Bethesda Softworks have rele has released the remarkable creation kit, which signifies the start of something big. Not that the developing the modders community had a lot of difficulties. I mean, there was so many mods released up until this point. They didn't really, they weren't really stopped or discouraged from doing things. It was much harder for them, of course, but it's not that they weren't doing it. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna move my microphone a little bit down. It keeps shaking as always, resulting in these stupid sounds. I apologize for that. I just don't know what to do with this stupid thing. Now, with the creation kit we will see a lot of more advanced works and more specific works, such as new dungeons, such as new additional, more, uh, even more in-depth systems. Although they were script-based before, now they're going to be integrated into the game, and it's very interesting. Also, they have released the beautiful uh, HD textures pack, and I think this wood looks pretty beautiful. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm noticing for now. The armor looks okay. I don't know if it looks better, maybe a little bit better. It does look a bit better. Yeah, okay, fine. It doesn't suck. <laughs> it looks a lot better. So what do you think? It's end of the line. They're going to try to execute us. and I have to decide still what cl what race am I going to play. Hmm. Does it now? I'm using just some mods, uh, one for extended level cap for 100, and rebalanced skill leveling. That's all. That would be it. No, it should be unmodded playthrough. <laughs> Indeed, they do. Empire is just frustrates me overall. Seriously, I I, I cannot put it anything any way better. 
Imperials just frustrate me. They are, they are proud. They are. What are they? They 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 swear to uphold the law. But in what way do they do that? They enforce the law. Yeah, okay, they enforce the law. But do are they really so selfless in enforcing the law? So many of the Imperials are so corrupt. I mean, they force you to follow their obligations, their restrictions, and their laws where they don't really when they don't really they don't really take care of you know eliminating cor corrup uh, uh, corruption even in their own ranks so how are you supposed to trust government under imperials i'm serious right now like so they want you to follow them but on what basis you follow them because of what what's the guarantee what's the guarantee they provide they don't provide any guarantees they just ask you to follow them and it's not enough it's seriously not enough. They they go on about how Stormcloaks are bad and, you know, barbaric and everything. But I'm agreeing with Stormcloaks much more, except for the part that they're racists. Stormcloaks are racists, but they're stubborn and they want the country back. That's very simple. They were fighting against High Elves for so much time, for so long, and now suddenly they don't, you know, they don't allow them to worship their god, right, the Talos. I, I'm, you know, I'm an atheist, but it's not the point. The point is that the beliefs of people should not be enforced by anyone. You want to worship someone, you worship someone. Let me just go ahead. Hajit. Yes, I guess Hajit. Hajits are awesome. They have the tails. Again, Hajit is not it's not the best class to play, uh, stat-wise, in my opinion, uh, if we talk about the rational abilities, but still, you know, should be quite entertaining, reasonably entertaining. Now I'm going to create the, the one I create all the time. How do I create the one all the time? Like this? No. Like it's black, fine. Wait, a little bit smaller. Not so much, somewhere in the middle. Now, head. Complexion, what complex? Like this. Dirt. Dirt color. Aha, uh -huh, dirt, more dirt. Dirt color, like this. Scars. Or the scars I have here. Let's go like this. War paint. Oh, war paints are awesome. They can look so brutal. <laughs> so strong. Look at this beauty. Now, <coughs> Mr. Hajit, let's make you a bit... No, we're not gonna go in, de in depth to all these things. We're also gonna spend all this playthrough part one in creating this. No, it's not necessary. Mouth shape. This we're gonna make. It's gonna be a smiley Hajit. A bit smiley. Mm, if you could say so. Now, perfect hair. Okay, let's change hair a bit. To what? To this. It's quite nice. Now, facial hair. What do I... Okay, we have some stuff, but... I like this one's a lot. Okay, hair color. Let it be black. Very good. Now, done. Finish and name your character. But of course, and your name will be... Your name will be... Shaik. <laughs> Should I just call him Shaik and be done with it? Uh, okay, let, let it be just Shaik. It, it's not really important. Jaik. Yes. I just like this name. I don't know. It's it's, it's originally from Maik, but you know, yeah. You with one of the trade caravans? No, I am not. I am with myself. Oh look, I'm not on the list for the execution. What did they decide? He goes to the block. I, I like this approach to the law. Very nice. So basically, my guilt is not proven. I'm not on the list for executions. And instead of saying, oh, you know what, Jaik, just, just go ahead and leave, you know, sell oranges and fruits on the market, just do whatever you want, right? Continue your normal way of life. No, you're going for the execution. I like this logic. He actually sliced him. He didn't shout him to death. Just saying. You betrayed Skyrim. Just saying. I am gonna put you down with my own tail. I'm gonna choke you to death, son of a. Look at him being short and mighty. Look, look at the shortness. <coughs> and he tries to, to, to threaten someone. Talios, you're an asshole. I'm gonna kill you myself. Look, they even have the look, eight divines, eight divines, right? So in 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 oblivion it was nine divines, right? Including Talos, basically. Now they're like eight divines and all this mumbo jumbo. So suddenly Talos is not real. Everybody else is real, eh? Well, screw you, right? Very simple. 
Not really. Don't think their ancestors are really proud of them for all the things they're doing. Can't, couldn't agree more. Frustrating and confusing. Some of their own people don't even, you know, appreciate their the storm cloaks fighting for them. But again, methods of storm cloaks can easily turn away people from them. It's very simple. Their method, they, their cause might be righteous, right? I agree with their cause, but the methods they imply and their never-ending racism to other races just—it has to change. It has to change because this is not the way. This is not the way for Skyrim. There are many nationalities living in Skyrim, including. Hajits, including some Argonians and everything, but they're not supposed to be treated as second-class citizens just because they're guests. There are many different nations living here and they should have an equal opportunity with Nords. That is the way to be. The other thing is that the Empire easily betrays Skyrim and betrays their, you know, their worship in Talos and everything. That's not correct. Okay, now... Now, started unbound. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm following you, Ralph. Sipping my coffee, continuing the religious discussion here. <laughs> Again, you don't really have to agree with my opinion on what's happening in Skyrim. Um, you know. Politically wise, religi religiously wise. Again, I'm saying it from my point of view. Religious is religion is a decision of each and every single person. You want to worship something, worship something. You don't want to worship something. No one obliges you to do that. But no one has a right to tell someone that his worshiping is stupid and his worshiping is wiser or you know outdated. It's pers it's a matter of personal belief. You believe in it, you believe in it. It's your own business. Nobody has the right to go into that and start telling you that you're wrong, or start proving to you that he's right. And so I shall jump through the roof. Very good. Space to jump. I still can't loot anything. Okay. Fine. Since you don't want me to... Oh, I also use a mod which allows me to sell more things to the merchant. And it will speed up the playthrough a little bit. Indeed. Let's get back a bit. Well, I thought you wanted to kill me. What? What changed? Why change of heart? Okay. All right, all right. What is this? That's a big freaking dragon. You could just burn an archer of the Imperial Legion. The well, first time I was playing the game, it was shocking. Like, the way the dragon appears and everything. It was beautiful. It, it still is beautiful, but it, it's not as shocking as if you play the game already. Oh my goodness, that's very bad. Why are you lagging their game? Dear game, please don't lag. Please. I've got a playthrough to finish. And so now that's the point. A moment of silence. Whom do you want to select? Do you want to go with Ralph and therefore choose Stormcloaks? Or do you want to go with Hadvar and go with I I Imperials, right? Basically, that's your decision. What would you like to do? For me, in my own mind, mindset, like, I do not understand how would you go with Hadvar, right, with the Imperials, after they just try to execute you. I, I really cannot understand that, the logic behind that. And therefore, I'm going with Ralph because he, so far, is in the same situation as I am, right? I mean, as far as I'm concerned, right, they are racists, right? They, I don't agree with their methods, as I said, but so far, they never did me any wrong, okay? He's not interested in my execution. Hadvar, just a moment ago, was uh, willing to comply with an order to kill me, right? So I'm really not motivated to listen to this guy. Of course you can cut them off. God Stormcloak always keeps his knife. Yeah, well, why don't you... Thank you very much. I'm good. I'm all set. What do we have here? We have an iron war axe and some equipment. We're gonna use this equipment. Four boots. Oh, I haven't played this game for so long. I have to get used to the old controls. 
I usually use the keyboard for all these commands, so you know it should be really quickly. As as you will watch more and more parts of this playthrough, if you will, provided that you will, I'm not sure anyone was going to watch it. Uh, it's going to happen faster and faster. I'm a big fan of the keyboard system in Skyrim, the way it's used, and yeah, it's very comfortable for me at least. Many people have been complaining with that. I was kind of also, but then I got used to it and it was really really comfortable. <laughs> No. Oh, it's a trap, isn't it? Why don't you? Oh. Screw stamina. Who needs stamina? You are so going down, Mister. Good, good. Minus one. Also, you will notice as I play that my the speed at which I gain levels is quite quite a wee bit slower than it actually is in the vanilla game, in the original game. Um, that is because I'm using another mod for that, as I said, the um, revamp or skill of of skill gains. Right. So basically, I gain levels a bit slower, but also lets me to stay a bit stronger as I do. So it's not as dramatic the change in speed of getting level from the first level to the 80th. In my case it's 100 as it was before in the game. Before, what would actually happen is as you start the game, you get out of the you know, first dungeons you make and you're like the level, I don't know, you're like you're very very far ahead in level. You're like 13. But then as you play the game continuously further and further, the level doesn't change so quickly. It's kind of sucky. Oh my god, do I really have to change settings? Yes, I do have to change settings. Controls. Forward. Okay. Left hand. Activate. Ready? Sheath, okay. Dab, okay. Pov, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. POV, okay, jump. Sprint, shout power, Power. okay, Z. That'd be Z, I don't mind. Sneak, run, auto move, favorites. Favorites Q, quick save, F5, quick load F9, wait. Journal, okay. Now, wait. T, journal, I don't really like it. I don't really like it, I'm gonna change it a bit. Quick inventory. F2, quick magic, F1, system tab, system, I don't really need system, quick stats, F3, quick map, F4, okay, F1, F2, F3, F4, okay, journal, you know what, Z, shout, where's shout, okay, I don't know what to put, with the, well, shout, I'm gonna put at X, where's the shout, 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 dear shout, Come on, you assness. Where are you now? I probably don't see it and look like an idiot right now. Here you go. Shout. X. Okay, good. Saving. Now, anything else I need to change? Um, settings. <laughs> Gameplay. Master. Okay. Save and character menu. Difficulty master. Mm-hmm. Okay. It feels quite comfortable right now, I think fine yeah okay it's fine now f1 magic f2 inventory f3 character menu whoa very beautiful f4 world map very nice now let us continue onwards i hope you see what's happening right now in the game i actually gonna go ahead and in case knowing how the recording behaves i'm gonna go ahead and adjust the video settings just a bit higher the brightness so you can see the game better you know what i'm saying because there's a lot of dark areas in the game the recording should be a bit darker than i see it right now so it should be appropriate i hope it's appropriate i hope you like it be sure to leave your opinion in comments it's very important because i really don't know what you prefer you prefer a darker feel like the gothic skyrim playthrough or you prefer something that you can actually see <laughs> and you know come on cabbage come to my inventory I treat cabbage is quite nice. Okay, nice. What are you? Nothing. Good. F5. For quick save. Quick saving. It's just actually say quick save TV. Quick save in the game. Quickly. Whoa. That collapse on our heads. Let's continue onwards. You are an asshole. I'm not even storm clock. Do you understand? You dumb asshole. Filthy traitors of whom? Of you? 
Didn't you betray your own country? Just saying. There's a big difference of following blindly old regime and understanding that something has to change. Yeah? Tell it to Ralov for his two axes. No. No. Nice. Now, what do we have from you? Nothing. Okay, wine is always good. Okay. Okay, dancing on the keyboard begun. So, commencing dancing on the keyboard. Some stuff. Anything interesting here? Not so much. You are coming to my inventory. The game is so beautiful. Oh my god, it came out like 11th of November. <laughs> There's no likes. I remember the exact date. I was so anticipating for the game. Oh my god, it came out. I was so excited. I kept playing it non stop. It was just wow. 20 days straight. <laughs> okay, so let's go, Ralph. Let's, let's get moving indeed. Where is my night eye? Oh my god, my eyes. Fast, fast, fast. Quickly. Shut up, you tortured piece of shit. Like torturing people? What we'll tortured this? Asshole. Assistant. There's no assistance to the foul deeds. Pray to Stendar for mercy. For vigil has none. You're dying naked. Now, shield would be nice. So what do we have here? What do we have here? What's that? Brief history of empire. Books. Books, books. Should I read books? I don't know if I should read books. Torture. Books are good, but they will consume up quite a bit of time to read. And I am really uncomfortable with my reading when I'm not prepared. Okay. What doesn't go? Here? Oh. Come on, Mike. Focus. Very good. Very good. Now I'm going to pick lock all the locks. Just to have this additional boost in experience I get for pick locking. Quite an important skill. Because of the, you know, it allows you to pick lock the chest. I mean, the skill itself is not important. By skill, I refer to you knowing how it works. How can you actually pick the stuff, you know? Now, you should accumulate your own skill on the personal level. You know what I'm saying? The skill in the game does allow you to do it better and easier and blah blah blahish. But the idea is that if you understand yourself how it works, you don't really need all this stuff. You can do it yourself. Even with the very relatively low level of a skill, you will be able to pick up quite complicated locks without much of difficulties. What do we have here? Nothing. Here? Nothing. Someone died here. Let's go ahead and check out what we can find there. Oh, right. That's my first blocking lockpick. Okay, good. We have here some bone meal, some coins. Coins are good. Okay, coins are not evil. Don't listen to anyone saying otherwise. Now, using my skills of walking with one hand, when playing a game one hand, I'm gonna use the moment and drink some coffee. Now, here, nothing useful. Everything is useful. Here, let us continue onwards. To our journey. What a beautiful, what a beautiful level design. Oh my god, so nice. So much stuff. Don't wait to be killed by a dragon. Why wait when you can die by my hand? What, you don't like it? What, hard? Hurts, does it? Stop blocking my attacks, you ass. No more. You're frightening me. Where's my inventory? I keep pressing I. As a habit, matter of habit. Now, why don't I change some of my armors a bit? Iron dagger. Good, good. Very good. Get that. Take that. Hop. Wow, that's a finishing move. Okay, that's some enemies over here. Let's try to block their attacks in order to get some of our... Or just bash them with the shield. Oh! Didn't work out so well. Fine. Why don't you... Even remotely consider dying? Dying can be fun. Take it from the quick loader. 
Okay, nice. Now we're just gonna go ahead and select some of our stuff. Restoration magic. We will favorite it and cut the recording at this moment. I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead, subscribe to my channel to support my work and get notified when new content becomes available. It was a great pleasure having you here. Stay tuned for more of Skyrim playthrough. Perhaps Skyrim tutorial. I have some plans to do, but you know, it's quite complex things and I don't know when I'm gonna get to it as soon as possible, preferably. And yeah, Thank you very much for watching. I thank you for being here until the end of this video. Have a great day and bye-bye.